Okay, so we are going to watch now the structure and function of organelles that are common to all eukaryotic cells. Okay. I've got here the 3D model again, a lifelike model, fantastic for learning with the students and with Nina. Nina is in Edinburgh. In Edinburgh. Do you say We that? We say hello Ed from Edinburgh. Edinburgh, Edimburgo para nos. Muy bien. So Nina is going to explain us all the organelles or organulos cellulares. Please, Nina, what can you tell us? Número un, number one. Number one. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouse of the cell. They are small organelles floating free in the cytoplasm. It has got a double membrane. The outer membrane is flat and the inner membrane is folded into crests. Uh -huh. Cellular respiration takes place in the mitochondria. This process burns nutrients in the presence of... In the presence of O2, oxygen. Nice, good. And it obtains energy in the form of... ATP, ATP, yeah. moléculas de ATP. Um, and releases CO2. CO2, SO2. No, CO2, sorry. CO2. <laughs> CO2. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm sure my students too. Okay, so the next one is ribosomes. Okay, ribosomes. Let, let me one, one, okay. I've got here ribosomes, but I've got riboso ribosomes almost everywhere. Yes. So they are the smallest organelles of the cell, and they are formed by two subunits of different size. They are found in the cytoplasm, the mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, and in the chloroplasts. Okay, they the produce... chloroplasts. I, I don't have here the 3D model of the plant but uh, so in the animal cell uh, would be in the cytoplasm mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum your favorite favorite one reticulum yeah. plasmático mitochondria cytoplasma mm -hmm. rugoso eh, rugoso <laughs> claro o rugoso reticulum endoplasmático rugoso liso non ten ribosomas no no okay uh, um so do you know what these produce Uh, yes, I think I know. Uh, they produce proteins, maybe? Yes, and so they produce the proteins from, importantly, the genetic information provided by the messenger RNA. Messenger RNA. No, you say ARN. Así que eh, producen proteínas, eh, tienen, bueno, producen proteínas con información que les suministra o ARN mensajero. Muy bien. Eh, ¿Qué más atoparíamos aquí en una célula? What else can we find here in the cell? What uh, another? So I like, I like this one too. Golgi. Oh, Golgi <laughs> apparatus. Do you know the uh, why Golgi apparatus has this name? No. Eh, because the the person who discovered the researcher was Golgi. Really? Yes. Ah. Well, so this apparatus is made up of a set of flat membrane sacs. From these sacs, vesicles are released to transport substances to different parts of the cell or outside it. Oh, very good. Now on to my, my favorite one. I, I can guess which one is your favorite, the next favorite one. The empl in, oh, blah, 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 sorry, the endoplasmic reticulum, reticulo endoplasmatico. Let's go for it. So the endoplasmic reticulum is made up of complex sets of interconnected sacs and channels. Their membranes are connected with the nuclear membrane. Some of them have ribosomes attached to the membrane, rugoso, and this region is named rough endoplasmic reticulum. Por eso se llama retículo endoplasmático rugoso, porque tiene ribosomas adheridos a membrana exterior. ¿De acuerdo? No interior. Por fuera. Mm -hmm. Por The rough endoplasmic reticulum creates proteins in the ribosomes that are joined to its membrane, and it stores them or transports them to... To another parts of the cell. It's, okay. it's like uh, like the bus it's or like the train is the cell that conducts substances 
No outside, just inside the cell. Inside, yeah. Dentro de la célula, transporte intracelular. It's also related with lipids, steroid metabolism and intracellular transport, as you were explaining just now. Ok, so, así que eh, acumula en lo interior lípidos y, 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 eh, bueno, y, y se encarga también del metabolismo de los esteroides uh -huh. y de transporte muy intracelular. Bien. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Es un, es un orgánulo muy interesante y tiene un montón de actividades. Eh, maybe next years they are going to learn um, a lot about this uh, organelle, but not this year. I think with this is enough. What do you think? It's enough, pero es muy importante. Pero... <laughs> muy importante, tengo mucho que estudiar. Eh, we can go with the next uh, organelle. Which one is? So, lysosomes. And they are relatively big vesicles originating from the Golgi apparatus and are full of digestive substances named enzymes that will digest substances from inside autophagy or from outside heterophagy. And what else can you tell us? So we can say lysosomes make cellular digestion. They decompose substances to obtain other useful substances that provide nutrition for the cell. Ajá. Vale. Other vesicles related to the Golgi apparatus activity contain other types of substances and have different functions such as storing substances and transporting them. Okay, so Golgi también lo que hace es almacenar sustancias y transportarlas. O sea, que también como el retículo neoplasmático que transporta de un lado a otro a la célula sustancias. Muy bien. Y, okay. and what else? ¿Qué más? So, in eukaryotic cells, there are characteristic organelles and structures that are not found in all cells of different groups of living things. For example, chloroplasts. Okay, wait a minute. I go back again to the plant cell 3D model. Here. Okay, so what are you telling me about the chloroplast chloroplast chloroplasto chloroplast so they are oval they and are surrounded what? oval 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 así que ovalados vale oval mm -hmm. son ovalados and surrounded ¿sí? by two green flat membranes okay. they contain flat sacs called thylakoids 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 and a thylakoids yeah. Thylakoids Thyla and a pigment. Thylakoids, thylakoides. Mm -hmm. Do you know the name of the pigment? Chlorophyll. Yes, that was good. Chlorophyll, yes. And the other interesting about thing about chlorophyll is it's responsible for the green color. Okay, of the chloroplast and the plants. Yeah. It's because yeah. they are green. Okay. So, photosynthesis, photosynthesis takes place inside them. Thanks to this process, they obtain energy from sunlight and make their own food. Okay, so. and another organelle inside the plant so. cell. <coughs> Sorry. Are present vacuoles or vacuoles, however you like to pronounce it, are present in all plant cells and in some prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells. They are membranous vesicles full of liquid made up of water, salts, sugars, proteins or enzymes. Así que pueden contener agua, contiene un montón de agua de feito, sales, azúcares, proteínas e incluso también enzimas. Mm -hmm. Y qué o qué fai? What what uh, what is the function of the vacuole? So, the liquid in the vacuoles exert pressure inside the cell. The pressure is needed to maintain the cell's rigidity. Ah, okay. So it helps to maintain the shape of the cell? Yeah, well, to, and to, yeah. yeah, and to keep it big and strong. Okay. Para mantener a, a forma y a rigidez de la célula. Mm. Muy bien. Muy bien. And um, what else? So next up is the cell wall. The cell wall. So this... A pared celular. Muy bien. Uh -huh, I've got it here. Hmm. Cool. 
So the cell wall is the covering outside the plasma membrane, not inside, outside. So some eukaryotic cells have this structure, as it was mentioned before in the other video, like plants, algae, and... Uh, fungi. Fungi. <laughs> I, I got it. Fungi. Yeah. It's so, so funny name. <laughs> the cell wall protects the cell and makes it rigid. The composition varies according to the type of cell. Okay, I imagine, because it's going to vary if we are talking about a plant cell or an algae or another one. Yeah. Uh, okay, I've got to come back now to centrioles. Yeah. What can you tell me about the centrioles? Okay, so the centrioles are hollow, hollow cylinders made up of filaments. They participate in chromosome separation during cellular reproduction by directing them. They are also involved in the formation of movement structures such as, do you know? Uh, yeah, I think cilia. Do you say cilia? Cilia. Cilios. We say cilios. Cilia. I've got here in this cell. Mm -hmm. Uh, and another one in flagella. And in, in Galego? Flagellos. 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 Cilios and flagellos. Okay. Y ya vimos no video anterior. Sí. Yes. We, just we already watched it. Yeah. So, cilia and flagella mm -hmm. are cylindrical structures made up of proteins and covered by cytoplasm and extensions of the plasma membrane. When these structures are relatively short and large in number, they are called cilia. When they are long and there is only one or just a few, they are named flagella. Uh -huh. So these allow the cell to move in a liquid environment or to move liquid and particles on its surface. Así que os cilios y os flagelos sirven para fijarse el sustrato o para moverse eles o para mover o líquido que hay preto deles y crear vórtices de no, no líquido eh, de alrededor uh -huh. y de ese seito es capaz de incorporar partículas que están preto etc. muy bien pues I think we had made a nice review about all the organelles yes it was very interesting thank you very much for your help um, if uh, you want, m maybe we can make another video another day. That'd be good. It'd be nice to give it another go, have another try. It would be great if you can help us, Nina. Always is a pleasure to have a lecture with you. Perfect. Well, I hope to see you next time. Okay, see you. Big hug for you and all your family. Bye. Bye.